For more videos on people's struggles, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thousands of students took to the streets across Colombia on October 10th during a national march against the violent repression by the Mobile Anti-Disturbance Squadron of the Colombian National Police Force, known as the SMAD. The SMAD had attacked protesters, mobilizing against fund cuts and corruption in the education sector. The students also mobilized to denounce the failure of the far right-wing government of Ivan Duque to comply with the financing pacts signed in 2018. The call for the mobilization was given by the National Union of Higher Education Students, which includes more than 50 public institutions, as well as by the Colombian Association of Student Representatives of Higher Education. The march took place in 17 cities across Colombia and the protesters were met with heavy police repression. 89 have been arbitrarily detained and 25 have been injured. Since September 24th, the students of Francisco Jose de Caldas District University, a public university in Bogota, Colombia, have been protesting the corruption committed by officials of the university who were accused of mismanagement of more than 10 billion Colombian pesos of the university education budget. In the month of July, the news agency Canal Uno revealed that William Munoz Prieto, the former director of the Extension Institute of the District University, used a credit card and a checking account in the name of the university to pay for his own expenses such as travel, the purchase of luxury cars, and even paying for sexual services to seek political and administrative favours. In the absence of any judicial action against him, and before the institutional silence and cuts in the university budget, the students decided to demonstrate at the administrative headquarters of the university on September 24th on the 7th Avenue in Bogota. The protesters were attacked and violently repressed by SMAD personnel. Students from the Haveriana University, a private university located next to the administrative headquarters of the district university, immediately gathered to chant and sing to express their support to the students of the district university. In response to the police repression, students from the district university and Haveriana University called for the rally the next day on the same street to reject the excessive use of force by the SMAN. However, their peaceful protest was once again attacked by the National Police Force, this time with water tanks. They also threw stun bombs and tear gas inside the university premises, injuring at least six of the protesters. The next day, on September 26th, the students from the Pedagogical University the National University and the University College of Pundinamarca also protested against the repression of the SMAD. They also were repressed and attacked by the police with tear gas and stun bombs, which were thrown inside the educational institutions. The SMAD attacked the university students who were mobilizing against the violent repression on September 27th as well. This time, the protest was joined by students from over seven universities in the capital. The unity of public and private institutions and the growing strength of the student movement in Colombia has been one of the key forces on the ground mobilizing against the right-wing government of Ivan Duque. The students of Colombia are committed to taking forward their struggle even amid heavy police repression and slander campaigns by the Colombian police, hegemonic media and government officials who call them extremists who are instigating chaos and disorder. Yeah,